Most of us know about using PowerPoint to make great slideshows, but did you know that it is also a great tool to make ebooks? It's a great idea to occasionally have students create their own ebooks because they can share their learning and research while you address a large swath of Common Core state standards in reading and writing. Best of all, it works great for elementary and high school students. Personalize your library program with this great tool. Now let's get started. For those of you who are already familiar with PowerPoint, just know at the end we're going to save everything as a PDF, and so this uh, may be a little bit basic for you. For those who would like to know more about the basics of PowerPoint, keep watching. When you get started with PowerPoint, you'll get a new slide. The first thing you'll want students to do is to look at the layout options. There are various versions of PowerPoint, but you'll find the same basic functionality in all of them. Now, there are various layouts for PowerPoint. For the purpose of making ebooks, I recommend that you just start with a blank slide, usually. Another thing you may want to look at are the various themes that are available. And you can select those. Um, each version has various types of themes that are available. However, again, I think for maximum creativity, it may be best just to avoid having a theme at all. Now, you, the choice of a background will be something that will be of use to students. So you can find the background tab, and there are various styles of backgrounds from which to choose. Um, I'll just select this one at random. But once you select it, you can also format the background, and that's where it gets interesting. You can add solids, you can add gradients, you can even add pictures or patterns to the background. So play around with that a little bit. Um, nice to know that you can also change the color and get as creative as you want to with that. So get started with that. Uh, start your own ebook um, slide for practice and uh, experiment with the backgrounds. No ebook would be complete without some text, so let's look next about inserting text boxes. Go up to the Insert menu, select Text Box, and you can approximate where you want your text to be. You can always move that around. Type in the text that you would like to appear on that page. Note that you can click on the text box, you can resize it, move it around, and also you can manipulate the text itself. So I'm highlighting the text, going back to the home screen, and here I have all of the function of a basic word processor. Uh, for example, I can change uh, where it's centered, I can change the color of the text, I can change the boldface, the font type, and even the font size. So stop for a little bit and uh, try this f with your own PowerPoint ebook that you're working on and look at all of the different options you have for changing the text box. Next, let's look at ways that you can add images into your ebooks. Now, it's great to have students create their own artwork, and you can take pictures or scan them to add them into the books. Let's look at an easy way to add images. Go to the Insert menu, select Photo, and Picture from File. Then navigate to the picture you'd like to insert. As it comes up into the slide or the page of the ebook, notice that you can resize it. And it will also bring up a lot of options that are available to you to manipulate these pictures. So you can make corrections to them. You can also, if, you know, if they need to be lightened, you can also um, get very creative and add different colorations to them to match the book. Um, you can add a variety of frames around them, 
crop them, remove backgrounds. You can even add borders and add different weights of lines and so on. So play around with it. There are various effects that you can add. You can change the size and so on. Um, play around with it. Stop at this point and see what you can do with adding images to your PowerPoint. Next, let's look at how to insert clip art. Clip art may be uh, something that you occasionally want your students to put in ebooks. I think it's always nice to have them put in their own artwork, but sometimes it's more convenient to do clip art. So I'm going to the insert menu, going down to clip art, and let's select from a gallery. We'll bring up the uh, PowerPoint clip art gallery, and you have category options or you can type in a keyword to search. Let's select duck to go with our swan and just hit insert. And here's our little ducky. Again, you notice that um, by clicking on it, it will bring up the same options for editing that you have um, there. Maybe I want to flip him around in some way so that he can uh, look at the uh, swan, we could do that, um, as well as um, d resize and color, add borders, etc. So stop for a little bit and attempt to put clip art into your ebook PowerPoint. The last thing that we'll look at in this video is how to insert shapes and lines. So I'm going to go to the insert menu select shape and notice that it gives you a wide range of sh shapes from which to choose. Um, I think for today we'll select an oval call out. So I'm going to double click on that and then come over and draw it. Notice that on this particular one I can move it um, the pointer to different directions and let's say that I would like to change the color of this call out. Um, there are several ways that I can do that. There are shape styles that are available to, for you, and you can um, just quickly change the color in that way. The other thing you can do is go to the fill. And perhaps you want no fill at all, or maybe you want a, a totally different color to stand out. You can also add lines to that. So if you wanted a total a different line to um, kind of stand out, you can go into weights and make it even broader and so on. Now in order to continue with this particular one, I would go back and insert a text box and put it on top of it so that he could um, say something to his little swan friends over here. Um, so again, there's many different shapes and lines that you can do to add to make your ebook creative. So play around a little bit with that, um, stop the video, and see what you can do. The last part is the easiest of all, and that is converting this slideshow to an ebook. And for that, we are going to go to File and Save As. Bring down your drop-down menu until you come to PDF and name the book um, whatever you would like to um, name it and simply hit save. You have now saved an ebook in PDF format and it would be great to add it to your blogs, to your wikis, uh, anywhere that you can make it available for the students to read each other's ebooks. Make sure if you put it in the public internet to have photo release forms for the kids and enjoy. You'll have lots of opportunities for your kids to share their research and learning with PDF ebooks made in PowerPoint. Thank you.